Hi guys, it's Rob here with another set of tutorials. And today we're going to be going over uh, NJIT's IT201 Information Design Techniques Review Sheet, which I have up on my webpage for you guys. So, one quick thing to note is I'm doing all, a lot of these tutorials in August 2015. So, if these tutorials are up on YouTube and you're wondering where the review sheet is, uh, I'll have those up on my webpage for you and a link to the webpage in the description of each of these videos before fall 2015. So don't panic if it's not there because I know I just said, you know, I have it there. It will be there before classes start on in fall the fall 2015 semester. Now, another quick note. Professor Cicada is pretty much the primary in-person teacher for this course. And that, but then there's also Professor Deke who offers an online course. Now, what I'm going to be discussing here is part Flash, part Unity, which is what Professor Cicada's course is comprised of. If for some reason you're taking the online version, I'm not sure how much of this is going to help you, because when I took the course, I had Professor Cicada, and I'm also his teacher's assistant, so I'm not sure the curriculum for Professor Deke's course. Now, if you're not an NJIT student, and you still are trying to self-teach yourself, we're going to be going over Flash and Unity here. So, if you have an interest in either of those areas, this would definitely benefit you. Now, where did I, uh, how did I compile these notes? Well, when I was in Professor Cicada's 201 course, along with my teacher assistant experience for him for the last two semesters, I've compiled these notes from there. Uh, I, I took a few notes from Professor Wagner's IT286 Foundation of Game Production course at NJIT. The reason for this is because that course is the, the first real all Unity course. And this course sort of touches uh, Unity for the second half of the semester. So what I kind of wanted to do was take a few of the basic things, because he, he did a very good job at explaining just a few of the basics, because uh, that course goes more advanced. He did a great job explaining the advanced stuff as well, but I'm just trying to touch on the basics right now with you guys for the IT265 course, what, what would help you guys out. Sorry, IT201 course. And also, Foundation Games on the Flash by Rex Vanderspy. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, part one, Flash. So, the first, let's say the semester 16 weeks, the first, you know, eight or nine weeks are going to be Flash. And then the second half is going to be Unity. So, AS file, or Action Script file. That's where all of your Action Script programming code is stored. Now, the FLA file, right, is where all of your visual objects for your program will reside in Flash. Holding down Shift allows you to select multiple objects. Using the var and new keywords to create an instance of the symbol you created so that you can now control it with code. That's something very essential that you need to know how to do. And then using the add child method to visually display the new instance onto the stage. Now, what do we mean? What we have here, if you were trying to write an action script and you're trying to create a variable start page of type start page, so the name start page of type start page, you would first use var, which is the keyword to create a variable. Then you would write the variable name, which in this case is start page, but that's arbitrary. That could be anything anything you want. Then the type, the same as the name in the library, right? Because you have that symbol in your library. So you're going to put the colon and then the type here. That's how ActionScript delineates that this variable is of this type. If you've used JavaScript, it's very similar to ActionScript. And then a semicolon ends the line. Now the process of displaying an instance onto the stage, well, we went over part one, which was you actually declare the variable. Then you create the instance of the variable by using the variable name equals new and then type with uh, these parentheses here. So the type is start page, and then we have these parentheses showing that a new object is to be created, ending with a semicolon. Now our third step here, we use the add child function, and we pass in the parameter or the variable name that we have up here. And so the argument we're passing in, right, because when we, de when we define our own function, it's parameter, when we pass it in, we're giving it an argument here. So add child takes in a parameter, Right? And the argument we're passing in for that parameter is our variable start page. And this is what displays the instance onto the stage. Now, we're wrapping up this video, and just one quick distinction I wanted to make was that Flash, you'll notice, we're separating our code and our graphics. And when we get into some of the Unity stuff, you'll notice that we have scripts which we attach to our game objects or our graphics. So you'll notice that with these game engines or content creation sort of um, engine sort of things, we're keeping the graphics and the code separate, but they are interacting. And that's about it, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.